Hey everybody, it is JPT back here with RimWorld. Yeah. So we got ourselves two bad guys. We're going to take care of the um, slate shiv, which is in poor shape, and a pistiola. Come on. Come get some. Oh, they're going to come from both sides. All right. Well, we're going to toggle that power on. You come at us while we're sleeping, and guess what? Our stuff will take care of the business. Ooh, set force target. Ooh, bam. And you, kablow. Oh, yeah. We're in that action. Boom, boom, boom. He's got some gunshots. Ooh, he's got multiple gunshots. Yeah, keep stabbing it. Keep stabbing it. It's fine. It's fine. Guess what? Jake's like, wait, what? What's 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 going on? What's going on? Sasky. Doyle. Doyle's about to die. Doyle, you bad dead. Doyle, you dead. No, 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 no. Jake. Draft. Melee attack. You flee. You die. You flee. You die. You're gonna get hit a couple more times. Hopefully. Ah, dang. Let's speed this up. Oh, we can't. We can't. Well, let's toggle the power off. And toggle the power off. Let's do this. I'm trying to think of... Let me look at the controls real quick again. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know me and my screenshots. I like the screenshots. I like the screenshots. Let's see. Get that screenshot like that. Let's see if we can get Sasuke running. Boom. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I don't think Jake's going to make it. Oh, wow. Jake took that super shortcut. Yeah. See? One day. One day. That's alright, Jake. You did a good work. You done did good work. What's this? A simple meal? Fine meal? Urgh. My name is Dead Guy. I brought fine meal with me. Doyle, mm -hmm. I'm an herbalist. I don't want that. I can just sit there for all I care. Not refrigerated, as you shouldn't be. As you should not be. Okay, so am I going to freak out because I saw a corpse? No, I'm just hot. Fine by me. Tippy, grabbing that. See? You just can't. You just can't handle it. Trade ship is passing by. They are an exotic goods trader. Oh, you're sewing. Now you're researching, so now you can call. Woo! Lots of really cool stuff. Lots of really cool stuff. Uh, this is very cheap, and so is that. That's the sound I like to make. And they don't want any of our other stuff, but they got some really cool stuff. They got a cool sand shot. They've got a shoddy sandstone sculpture. Or an excellent uranium. Oh my god. What? Wow, that's a lot of money. If you get to the point in the game where you're able to afford this, you're doing something all right. You're doing something all right. Yeah, we can't afford any of this stuff. And they don't even want our stuff. They want our tribal wear, though. You know what? You can have it. We'll keep these just in case. Get those things out of here. We don't need it. We don't need your tribal clothing. Jake, man, look at him. He's like... Benny Hill freaking out we do need somebody to probably what kind of condition is this in yeah how about you uh, repair that yeah I know you can and repair that as well and just go ahead and start repairing these sandbags but I know you can just stay around here <laughs> Just, just stay around here. There we go. Uh, go ahead and repair those as well. Oh, got two emails. Exotic goods. I thought I already saw that one. 
Purple Pig Corporation. That sounds like it could get us. Nope. Nope. That sounds like it could get us in trouble. Purple Pig. Ooh, yeah. Look at this stuff. Ooh, actually, this is kind of a normal price for this medicine. Let's get two of them. That will basically trade our clothes that we just got rid of for some uh, more medicine. Hmm. What do we want? Do we want any of this stuff? Yeah, I don't want any of our goods. Wow. This stuff, again, is real pricey. We could make most of this stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Or no, wait. Yeah, I was like, we, we got ourselves some medicine, so I guess it doesn't stack on top of itself. Detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Give me all that steel. Oh, man. How close is that? That's not very close. It's on the edge of the map. Not a, not the largest map you can get. Uh, I don't really regret it. I think we've been doing okay so far. Uh, we could have probably done better. we got some steel over here, so I'm not feeling too crazy. Got some rain moving in, because, well, why not? We do have ourselves some quite a few rain showers and thunderstorms in this area. That is for sure. Tippy going back to researching. We got a pretty good amount of steel. Especially now that Jake is moving most of that stuff in. Everyone's sleeping now. Except for Tippy. Tippy's always the late sleeper early riser. I'm pretty sure it no, nope, JPT wakes up early, that's right. Making us breakfast. What a pal. What a good guy. Let's see, is anybody on the comms? Nope. Nobody that we really want to talk to. Do we want to improve our... Oh, wow. They do not like us at all. Maybe we want to... Because uh... everyone hates the executioners. They don't like these guys. They don't like these guys who we don't like, and they don't like the policemen, but if we get them to, like, zero, maybe they won't mind us so much. So who is that again? Because I, I, the names are a little confusing. Okay. Toxo. To just remember Toxo. Let's get them on. 300 silver. Yeah, all right. So now they're neutral. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Kind of die down a little bit, because now if we look at the overview, not everybody hates us, and... I mean, the executioners just flat out don't like us, and they're pretty close to that. I'm okay with kind of keeping everybody else where they are. So, six major threats. Enemy raids include six. Damage taken. Colonists killed. Zero. Thank goodness so far. We've got some pretty good wealth. And again, we're using the Cassandra Classic with the 30%. So this isn't like as bonkers crazy, but whatever. I like it. Oh yeah, we're going to move Tippy's bed. Um, let's deconstruct the bed. And then right, get another bed uh, here. Let's see. It's going to get awfully cold getting that stuff blown on you all the time, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so Jake's going to take care of it. Colonist needs a bed, I know. Builds this bed and immediately goes back to Tippy. We're good. So maybe Tippy won't feel so cramped. I'm thinking it's really the sleeping part of it that's bothering them. What's going on here? A group of travelers. Oh, these are the people that we just... Uh... Oh, cool. Billa Goldfinch. Goldfinch. Oh, wait, there's four. Or is that just a really messed up name? No, there's two people there. Uh, short bow, short bow. Let's see if they actually split up. No, they're just like 
Or wait, are they Siamese? Okay, I was going to say, are they Siamese twins? Renfield, Gray, Goldfinch, and Billa. That just sounds like a group of people we don't want to mess with. So I'm glad we actually improved our relations. Oh, that's cool. They're just running through. I never really thought about it that way, but yeah, they could just be running through to another region. I like that. That's pretty cool. See you guys. There you guys. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say. So well, we moved Tippy's bed. Tippy's hopefully happy about that. Just kind of taking a look. So I do appreciate you guys' support of this series. Uh, quite a few of you have come on just to kind of check out what RimWorld's all about. Uh, hopefully I've painted a decent picture of what everything is for you. Um, you know what? Go ahead and prioritize repairing this stuff. Because I think it's important to have this stuff repaired. Just in case. He really wants to go to bed. That's fine. No, he wants to eat. That's right. Is this automatic? No. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. So Cotton kind of comes fast and furiously. Um, we have a smithing bench. We have the stone cutters table, butcher table, cook stove. We don't actually have what I think is a clothing. Yeah, Taylor's workbench. Does it have to be powered? Yes, it does, which I'm okay with. Um, does anybody have tailoring skill? Is that actually a thing in here? Um... I mean, I guess crafting would be Jake. So maybe Jake. And maybe we make clothes that people can buy and we can get more stuff that way. I'm okay with that. We need 50 steel for it. Wow. Didn't think it'd take that much. Come on. Not sure why I was lagging behind like that. I'm recording to a new... Uh, why do I feel like I already have one of these? Did I accidentally just build another one? Maybe I just... I've done it in another... I've, I've got another playthrough that I do just off camera. Just for fun. And we could make tribal wear, but I will make a cowboy hat. I'll make at least one of them. And then we'll make a... Some pants, and we'll make a jacket and a parka, just to kind of see how those fare when we go to trade them. Now, again, I don't know exactly who will be uh, the person that's doing all that. Where am I coming from? All in silver. I'm okay with that. Getting re-wealthy. Tippy, are you, uh... Yeah, spacious interior. See, that's all it took. Just move the bed. Move the bed out of the corner. Everybody's happy. It doesn't take much. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make us happy here at Microtoon. We're happy people. Research is almost done, which is fine by me. Uh-oh. Trade ship is passing by. Yolen Transport Company. They are a slave trader. Ooh. Interesting. Now, I know if you sell somebody to slavery, that gets the morale down. But what if you bring somebody in? Because we're almost to that point. Oh, <gasps> no. That's me. <gasps> That's me. That's me. I'm a janitor. Wait. Is that my uncle? Like my long... No, minor. <gasps> janitor. Where? I've seen that name before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Unmodified by gene engineering and mostly unchanged by evolutionary pressures of non planets. Oh, Cody Thompson. So it's just a, it's like a cousin or something. And you, uh, intellectual, artistic. He's a pessimist. Tends to look on the bad side of life. Wah, wah. 
Well, well, well. Did we save my cousin? Is it worth the price? Is it worth the price? We'd have to... No. We could get, like, this stuff, though. Oh, man. That sucks. Ah. Sorry. Cousin remains in slavery. Wait, why am I researching? That's interesting. Make a cowboy hat. Yeah. Uh, let's do the antimatter reactor. Let's go ahead and look at what we can do ship-wise. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's expensive. 800 steel plus an AI persona core. Woo! Might have to look more into the ship building business anyways. Wow, 800 steel. So a thousand, we're gonna have to really collect up that steel, which hey, whatever, we'll get there. We will get there. Uh, Tippy, you want to, no, we, they don't want, they don't want cowboy hats, they want slaves, they want people, which is really bad, which is really bad. Of course, research on each one of these is bigger each time. It's fine, seems to come by pretty quick. Did I? I could have sworn I planted Devil. That's yeah, Devil Strand is down here. That's what I thought. Where's that Devil Strand going? Have we actually ever gotten the Devil Strand yet, or is it just taking so long? It needs to be brightly lit, fully grown, in 37 days. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a sun lamp. I'm gonna put a sun lamp. Oh man. I guess I could just put there right in the middle. Someone needs to build that. Because these need to grow faster. Because these go pretty quick. And so do these. Six, seven days. 1.3 days. These just take so stinking long. But maybe if we uh, help it out because of the light, maybe that actually number will change. Let's let's find that out. And we'll call it, a, call it an episode. Once that actually happens. Um, Jake, wake up, dude. Just take care of that, would you? It's important. Out of ideal temperature range, growing at 94% of normal speed. It's not growing now, it's actually resting. Even with a sun lamp? Interesting. So it's 45 degrees, so maybe this needs... Interesting. Let's, let's see. Growing time, flammability. Needs to be brightly lit. Huh. I wonder what temperature it needs to be grown in. Because we could do hydroponics, basically. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see if this maybe helps it. This is going up as the temperature goes up, but it being in... I just wonder if this is a waste of electricity or if this is actually going to help it. Yeah, maybe it. Maybe it stays good overnight. Wait, who's idle? Tippy is should be researching. Uh, oh, Dormant is doing it now. Interesting. Well, don't worry. I will find something for them to do in the next episode of RimWorld with me, JPT. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Do appreciate your support in any way possible. And until next time, this is, again, JPT. Go play your games. And I'll be... See ya.